This is the ETBU Sports Network here with head women's tennis coach Jeff Bramlett. Coach, uh, you guys played a, a week and a half ago over spring break. You go one and two overall, but all against regionally ranked or nationally ranked team. Defeat Texas Lutheran, and then you fall to uh, Trinity University in a top uh, 30 matchup, and then to Gustavus Adolphus. Uh, talk about your matches over spring break. Oh, they, they were all very tough uh, competition, as been our schedule all year long. I mean, our strength of schedule, I'll compare that with anyone in the country. Uh, TLU, they were originally ranked opponent. Uh, we, we beat them 8-1, which is a very strong win for us. Uh, first time we've ever beaten TLU, so that was an excellent win. Um, yes, Kayla had to beat Sophia for the third time this year. She was down the entire match and came back and changed her game style and won that in three sets, uh, as did Tiffany, came back and won hers in a super tiebreaker and had uh, some very, very tough competition, particularly uh, with our top two girls singles uh, matches. So it, it took quite a while to get off the court, had to turn around with only an hour turnover and then had to play Trinity, who did not have a match that morning, you know, with them being ranked, uh, I know they're in the 20s nationally. And so that was a pretty, pretty tough turnaround to, to play Trinity. And I mean, it would have been that would have been a difficult task uh, just to even play them fresh. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the Trinity, we lost them 8-1, um, had some, some, you know, very, very good matches uh, against them, but uh, unfortunately seemed to lose uh, all, all of the tight matches uh, against them. Uh, trying, to, trying to see, I think in the doubles, we lost 8-4 at the, at the one, lost 8-6 at number three, girls doubles. I mean, we could have won that. Uh, it maybe would have been a different story if you know if, it, if we uh, could have kept it two one after the after the girls doubles. Uh, Kayla had another good win at the uh, number one uh, girls singles. It was started off three zero down and won seven five six four uh, against a, a nationally ranked opponent. Um, and then uh, unfortunately, I was only only match we we won in that one. You know, I had some other close matches. We had a six three. In the first set with Kate at number three girls singles, we lost one and two at five, two and two at six, and and uh, ended up dropping that one uh, uh, eight one, and then uh, had to turn around uh, you know, and play Gustavus Adolphus. Love saying that Gustavus Adolphus, and had a lot of fun with them with the barbecue the night before, and did some two stepping. Uh, uh, with them, our, our team taught them how to two-step the night before. A lot of them had never done that before, and and uh, then then played them. They had only had one match. That was our third match. Uh, not to make any excuses, they're a very strong team. They they play mainly uh, Division Two and Division One uh, competition up there in, in uh, Minnesota, and and uh, some some big hitters. They came out and ju jumped off, uh, much like Trinity did, and got a 3-0 lead. Uh, against us, and, and uh, we had some tight matches, 8-5 at number one girls doubles, 8-6 eight, eight, at, uh, at the number two girls doubles, and, and uh, you know, once we were down 3-0 in the, in the girls doubles, that was tough to, to uh, fight back from that. Kayla did, she, she uh, won in three sets against another nationally ranked tournament. She, uh, uh, and then Kate fought back and won 6-1, 6-4 at the number three girls singles. We, you know, lost 5-6-1, Seven five lost at six six one six four had several close matches just unable to reel in uh, uh, many of those you know we were just you know our sixth match and and uh, for many of those girls a lot of tired legs at the end of a long weekend a long long trip but um, we got some great tennis that's what we wanted with uh, with a conference play starting this next week um, Kayla got player of the tournament beating three nationally ranked tournaments uh, Kate got the sportsmanship award. And then we won uh, the uh, team sportsmanship award uh, overall. So I, I was very, very proud of, of our girls uh, this weekend. And we're excited to start conference play. With those wins for Kayla, she was named the ASC East Hitter of the Week. Uh, talk about you know her getting that, all those awards, 3-0 and in singles play. And I think she went 1-2 and two in doubles. Uh, but the, the style of play and the hard play that she went through to win those singles matches. Yeah, I, I can't say enough about Kayla to, to beat three nationally ranked players and, and in the fashion that she did it. Uh, you know, to, to beat anybody three times is, is very, very difficult. To play Sophia was down the entire match. <clears throat> and then we had to go out there and just completely change her game style. I, I asked her to just start moonballing the, the, the ball. And it was like trying to hold back a, a wild racehorse. She was not happy about it. And she, she just started playing the ball about 20, 30 feet over the net. 
completely uh, turned the match around, and, and uh, she was able to catch her breath in between the points and ended up uh, really sort of wearing Sophia down. And, and uh, she ended up winning the second set by doing that and then won the super tiebreaker. So it was, it was a style of play she wasn't really accustomed to or, or uh, you know, happy about playing, but she, she's so coachable out there and able to change her game style and able to play so many different game styles. And then, like I say, with only an hour's rest, and then go out there and play uh, Lutz from Trinity, who, who almost beat Sophia in the ITA tournament. And Lutz came out there and was just ripping winners all over the place and was just as fresh as could be after they didn't, did not have a match in the morning. It was down 3-0, and then to come back and, and uh, to win that match, and then turn around the next morning after having played four tough matches and to play uh, Gustavus Adolphus, who had a fairly easy uh, dual match that, that uh, morning and only had one dual match and then to have to play a, a big hitter in Schultz, who's uh, also fairly highly nationally ranked, and, and, uh, and was just exhausted after splitting sets, and they didn't think that she still had enough gas in the gas tank to, uh, to win that third set, and win it fair, and she won it fairly handily, winning it 6-1. It was just uh, a real, uh, real testament to her. It was a real Iron Man uh, performance by Kayla Casey. Back at home, finally, for this week, taking on Bellhaven on Thursday, starting conference play. Talk about facing Bellhaven. Oh, it's, it's great. It's, it's great to be back home. All the kids are walking around the courts yesterday in practice, uh, just commenting, gosh, coach, uh, you know, that, that it's great to be back home. We almost don't recognize our courts. So it's, it's, it's wonderful, and, and, uh, and, 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 you know, it's nice to – be able to hopefully serve up some home cooking here with her with her home courts. Uh, Bell Haven's a very very strong uh, uh, team. Has been playing NAIA for years. I think they've been ranked top 20 in the nation on both the men's and the women's. Uh, their men, I believe, beat McMurray uh, something in the neighborhood of 8-1. Uh, and McMurray is one of the better uh, teams in in uh, the in our conference the last few years. And they are women lost to UT Tyler. Five to four, so we're expecting uh, both sides of that uh, program to be a very, very tough uh, test for us, and, and something that we need going going into uh, uh, you know all of these matches with Letourneau coming up, Ozarks coming up, UT Tyler coming up. So it's so uh, we're very excited about this test, and, and uh, we're hoping to start playing some of our best tennis and and uh, to start peaking at uh, hopefully the right time. All right, coach. Thanks for talking to us here on the ETV Sportsnet. No, thank you.